guys, what's going on? I have a team deathmatch on fuel and this game is fucking intense. It started out as a live commentary, but it quickly changed because I couldn't I couldn't continue talking. I had to concentrate on the game. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. I may or may not have enjoyed it. <laughs> it was pretty intense. But anyways, I actually want to make this kind of a serious commentary, which I don't do those a lot. I usually ignore a lot of this stuff. I ignore a lot of the drama that goes on into the in the community and for once I actually want to talk about it because I think there's a really important kind of lesson to be learned here maybe for my younger um, commentators younger subscribers that that they can really uh, listen to and you know there's been all of these videos lately and all this talk that money is ruining the Call of Duty community the gaming community um, you know, you have giveaways. Uh, giveaways pretty much aren't in the Call of Duty community anymore, but they are in the Let's Play community um, a lot, a lot now. And whatever with Call of Duty community, what's the hot thing right now? Mislabeling your videos uh, so they say something about Modern Warfare 3. So those are the things being talked about now. You got the Billionaire's Challenge being talked about. And basically, the overall message is that everyone who makes money for doing something they love is a bad guy and let me just give my two cents so I do not agree with what everyone does on YouTube I don't agree with miscategorizing videos I don't agree with giveaways blah 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 all that stuff I don't agree with that to get views and to get um, not views necessarily um, to get likes and favorites that's what I mean I think there are times to ask for likes and favorites uh, if you've worked extremely hard on a video or it's a really new concept, really good idea, sure, ask for likes and favorites. You are more than welcome to. Um, otherwise, I think it is pretty cheap, but here is my overall feeling on it. At the end of the day, it doesn't affect me. It might affect if, you know, I have a really liked video, it's not going to get to top favorited, or it's not going to get to most liked. Um, if, you know, people are, you know, whoring those things out, but my point is basically what people decide to do with their YouTube channels is kind of their business and they will get judged for it and because humans are so quick to judge each other and I think that's a huge huge flaw and it's something that's never gonna change we all judge people but when it comes to YouTube and the gaming community I don't want to judge other people I want to concentrate on my own channel and make my own channel better. And all I've seen lately is is commentators just hating on each other and, and just starting all this unnecessary drama. But if they took that time and just concentrated on themselves, on their own channels, I think it would be a lot better. Because I used to, honestly, I used to spend a lot of time like, oh my god, I can't believe this person does this. Like, I'd bitch to my friends who are also commentators. We'd just bitch to each other about, oh, it's so bullshit that they do that, blah, blah, blah. And then I got a partnership. And, <laughs> you know, it's really cool to make money for doing something you love. And while I don't make anywhere near uh, the amount of money that a lot of these bigger YouTubers make... I'm not going to hate on them or judge them for what they do because it's their business and it's none of my business. And I realized that and I thought, you know what, I'm going to concentrate on my own channel and do things my way, which is doing what I like, doing things that I think are, you know, not going to piss people off because I do care about my subscribers. I mean, that's how I am. You know, maybe not all channels, maybe not all commentators care about their subscribers, but that is one of the things that I actually do care about. And so I do try to make you guys happy. And, you know, so I always try to put out contact content that I think my subscribers will like. And try not to worry about what anyone else is doing, because it's not going to help me in the long run. And I think that when we put a lot of attention on something... Like, for instance, the Billionaire's Challenge. A lot of people don't agree with it um, because of a different event that's being hosted on the same channel by the same guy. And my thought towards that is if you don't agree with it, no one has a gun held up to your head saying watch it. But if you talk about it and complain about it, it's just going to give it more attention. 
And I think that's a lot of what's been going on with the people who've been saying, oh, it's terrible, it's terrible, and who've been making videos about it, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, you're doing exactly what you don't want to happen. You're giving it exposure. You're giving it attention. And that's going to get it more views. Because I can, I can guarantee you half the people who are hating on it are going to watch the, the contest. And so whatever and I'm not gonna judge any of the commentators who are in it I mean who seriously guys that's my point who are we to judge anyone else we might not agree with what they do but we don't need to support them if we don't agree or we don't need to watch whatever they do whatever event they're in but you know what I, I think the contest actually would be pretty entertaining I want to see some of those teams are full of stacked players and I would love to see them go head to head and I think it'll be really entertaining and I'm not gonna boycott it because some other event on the same website is something that people find con uh, controversial con oh my god I can't talk controversial I'm not gonna boycott it because of that I mean you can get mad at me and say oh my god I can't believe you support death I'm not saying that and I'm not saying I agree with what else is being broadcasted on that particular website but do I think the challenge, the Call of Duty challenge, will be fun to watch? Yes, I do. And I'm not going to hate on any one of those people because I don't like what, you know, Alki David does for other things. So, whatever. It's it's just stupid. I, I just, I don't know why everyone wants to judge everyone. And I know that it's just a human characteristic and that we all do it. And right now I'm judging people. I'm judging the people who want to judge the other people. So at the end of the day, no one wins. And I think we should just all concentrate on ourselves. Um, this is talking to other commentators. Just concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on your own channel. Seriously. As soon as I stopped worrying about what other people do were doing and started concentrating on my own channel, I started doing a lot more different content. I started bringing out a lot of different stuff. And I'm proud of myself. And I'm proud of my channel. I'm proud of how I did everything, and I will continue to try and bring out the best I can for my subscribers. So thanks, guys. Uh, if you got this far, if you haven't unsubbed after I said I'm not going to judge people for doing a contest. Uh, but yeah, have a good day, guys.